Welcome. We are going to talk today about Vata and wintertime specifically. It is getting cooler here, even in the Caribbean. So we're noticing the cooler Christmas trade winds and cooler ocean temperatures that make it a little bit more hesitant to go swimming. And if you're in the northern part of the US, you're definitely starting to feel the effects of the season. So now is the time to start bringing in warmer, heavier grounding practices. And there is a little bit of awareness that needs to be there. So some of you have participated in the fall cleanse or panchakarma. And ideally what's happening there is we're clearing the slate of any accumulation of kapha or pitta specifically from the summer months and trying to make things just as open and supportive as possible to bring in the heavier taste, the heavier qualities, the more unctuous and oily things that support the winter and drier season and the fluctuations in temperatures. If you have not participated in a cleanse, you can reach out and see if there's anything specifically you can do to support the digestive system so that you can enjoy those vata increasing foods. You also just want to kind of watch and make sure over the holidays that if digestion's low and you're increasing heaviness and in taste or heaviness and sweetness and quality, that you're not provoking kapha. And the sign you're looking for then is excess weight or excess mucus in the system. If that's the case, definitely reach out to an Ayurvedic practitioner. We've got lots of students in mentorship right now from the 500 hour program that are looking for clients. So you can reach out if you need a guide. And otherwise, we've got lots of information on our website. So we've got a, a Vata food list that we're sharing through the blog, but there's Kafic information there too. So if you are feeling heavy, definitely seek out more information. But otherwise, what we're generally looking to do in early winter in particular is to increase kapha or increase the rejuvenative qualities in the body so that we can prepare ourselves for winter and have heightened immunity, higher ojas, higher strength, more stability, and watching that, especially as we enter the winter season with the holidays, festivals, things like that. The time can be very supportive. So if you're using it to have high quality sweets, high quality breads, high quality heavier foods and grains, then it can help build the body's strength. Winter itself, they say, is actually a doshic neutral point. But what we see in general is that people are entering the winter season somewhat depleted. So again, Talk to a practitioner if you need to, but otherwise I wanted to share with you a few tips for winter and we've got a full free guide on our website. If you want to jump over to mahavidyaayurveda.com and you go to the blog or the recipe page, you'll see links there for a free guide. You can also find it on Instagram in our link tree area on the bio. There is a more complete guide there, but this is just a little bit of a crash course for winter regimen. So we'll call it Vata season, early winter. Late winter, we start getting more into a Kafic presentation we want to look at if there's accumulation in the body. But the qualities of Vata include dry, light, rough, clear, mobile, and cool. And you'll notice those qualities externally in nature too. So as the season progresses, the vata qualities continue to rise. And this makes it an ideal time, as I said, for rejuvenation, immune strengthening herbs and diet. Uh, we would call that ojas in Ayurveda, strength building. So weight training practices are recommended in the winter time and a general strengthening diet and lifestyle. So the tastes of the season you're going to want to focus on are sweet, salty, and sour. That does not mean to eat cookies and cakes all day, but you can start incorporating more sweet vegetables. Uh, baked apples can be really nice or pears. You can have uh, wheat is a sweet grain that can be increased during the winter time. You can add a little bit more salty and sour taste. There are lots of recipes on our website at mahavidyaayurveda.com you can find. You also can enjoy foods that are grounding, heavy, oily, warm. So a lot of things you would naturally be gravitating towards in the winter season. 
Warm oil massage, with sesame oil, which is a warming oil is recommended. You could heat some oil up. We like to fill up uh, Pyrex with water. So I'll pour boiling water in a Pyrex and then stick my oil jar into it so it doesn't get too hot and I'm not contaminating the oil at all. Um, and that makes a nice practice to take with you. We do have a free oil massage guide online. If you want to jump over to Instagram, you can grab that. And that talks about the benefits of self-oil massage and how to do self-oil massage. Uh, building asana practice or weightlifting, as I mentioned. So slow, steady uh, asana practices, things that you're maybe using more strength, like arm balances can be useful in the winter time. If you have any questions, you can reach out to Zaplin and potentially look at joining one of our asana programs. Golden milk, you see a lot of times in the winter time, you can use cane juice, you can use more fats, wheat and rice are recommended. We do still recommend using our ugly spice mix. So if you're incorporating the heavier taste or more unctuous foods, we don't wanna put a strain on the digestive fire, the digestive system. So still, Having some spice mix, we've got the Agni spice mix online, but you can add sesame seeds to it. Those are a little more heavy. They're a little more unctuous and building to tissues. Sesame seeds are one of the most um, dense foods you can have for building tissue strength. Having warm and heavy clothing or layers. You're here in Puerto Rico, we're already sleeping with a heavier blanket. And aromatherapy with sweet or kind of pungent smells like cinnamon, sweet orange, pine, frankincense, and vertebrae are all really grounding and feel nice. And now is the season specifically if you've cleansed that you can take Shavan Prash. So that's something you would want to talk to your health practitioner about. And again, reach out if you would like tips on finding someone to work with, or I'm happy to see you myself. Uh, Fresh local is always important. So this gets a little bit tricky in the winter time, especially in the Northern region. Some people have root cellars and they may have stored food from over the winter time or the summertime, or you may have a local CSA that is still delivering. When we were in Maine, we were really blessed with a great farmer's co-op and we could still get a lot of fresh food but it does get more challenging. So what you're normally going to find is things like pumpkin, squashes, um, maybe onions, beets, carrots are still producing. A lot of greenhouses can still get really high quality greens and sometimes even fresh herbs. So seek out what you can find in your local area. You may be surprised. High quality sweets can be consumed at this time if you've got good agni strength or digestive fire strength, and there's no signs of ama. So ama is undigested toxins in the system. If your digestive fire is not functioning high enough, it's not breaking down the food that's heavier, sweeter, fattier. And that's really what we want to pay attention to. So if you're noticing any like stickiness in your mouth, a tongue coat, bad breath, feeling tired frequently when you're waking up in the morning, if you've got any lingering aches and pains, that could all be signs of AMA. And then you might want to increase what you're doing for the digestive system, taking more Agni spices, and maybe lightening up what you're consuming for food also. Things to avoid in the winter time would be too much pungent binder and astringent foods, so they can dry out the system or lighten the system. We're trying to build some strength and stability here. Too much wind. If you live in a windy area and even here on the North shore of Puerto Rico, it's good to cover your head or have a scarf. And those of you that were here cleansing with us, I was mentioning to you just to keep the head covered. Air generally and prana, there's five directions of value, right? So one of them is moving up into the head. And if the head's too stimulated by wind, you can get headaches or it can create instability, anxiety, and greater fluctuations there. You wanna avoid being cold. So if you live in the Northern region, keep yourself bundled up. 
You want to avoid too much movement or lack of movement. So again, this is a good time to build strength, but you don't want to overdo any of the erratic Vata movement. So keep things kind of grounded, uh, capped in a little bit. You'll be in your winter bubble. You want to avoid overstimulation of the mind or emotions. So this is a good time to kind of hunker down, to read. It's a great time to study. Uh, some of you are joining our next 500 hour program. It's a good time to start doing crafts. A lot of things, again, you kind of naturally do in the winter time. And you want to avoid lightning therapy. So in general, the winter isn't when we do strong detoxification. If you were coming here um, for Panchakarma or a cleanse to Puerto Rico, we'd be balancing that out a little bit with tonification and purification therapies to keep the body clear. You can do short cleanses after the um, holiday season if you feel like you've accumulated too much. But again, that's something you want to talk to your healthcare practitioner about. It's a little bit different for everyone. So be sure to check out the seasonal eating guide and have fun with this. The winter time is a really exciting time because we get to use different foods, different tastes than you would have in the spring or in the summer. I know a lot of our clients get really excited about incorporating like wheat roti into the diet or increasing ojas ball consumption, which is always a favorite. Um, there's a lot you can explore there. And always check out Fresh Local. Always ask us if you have questions and most importantly, enjoy sharing. You can share these tips with your family and your friends, especially over holiday dinners. And it's a really nice time to create a spark of interest for health and the longevity practices of Ayurveda. So happy winter friends. We welcome Vata season and we hope to see you all soon. Lots of love, peace.